Good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel, and hello if you are new here. If you are new here and Halloween decor hunting and all things spooky season is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because that is what we're doing over here. Okay, today we're going Halloween decor hunting, of course, and I'm so excited. My video last week was really short, but that was just because there was, there was, not, there was nothing in the stores, which was depressing, but... This week we're gonna go to the TJX stores, so Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and we're also going to Joann's again, just to see what they've got. So to keep this intro pretty short, I'm gonna stop rambling and I will see y'all at Home Goods. I believe that's where we're going first. So let's go see all the spooky goodies. All right, everyone, we are heading into Home Goods first, and I thought all we were gonna see are these big old witches in the dresses, but. Here in just a second, you will see that I was mistaken. However, these are the first sightings of Halloween and Home Goods, and I'm just so excited. Look at her. Is she not stunning? I think she's stunning. We see this guy every year. This is $100, and I was tempted, not gonna lie. Okay, and here we go. We have a couple of end caps full of Halloween. This one is all the plushies, and I'm that obsessed, so I was drawn to this one for $13. Everything is just adorable. If anyone knows what this is supposed to be, please let me know because I'm a little confused. Also, this carved pumpkin little thing was quite expensive. I thought this little pillow, whatever this is supposed to be, this little black cat, it actually stands up on its own. Adorable, super cute. It is $13. And again, we have this guy. We saw him last year. Oh, it's just adorable with a little spider web detail. I love him. Look at this, more Halloween. I'm. So, it's just the best feeling. It's the best feeling. Okay, do we remember last year how crazy everyone went for the Bride of Frankenstein bust? Well, here she is in all of her glory. Honestly, it's beautiful as is, but I've seen people make her look a lot better. But at only 20 bucks, you cannot beat it. I was trying to get a price on this pumpkin guy. He's $20. I think he's such a dapper gentleman. And then they just have a lot of other really cool figurines here. So if that's your jam, get yourself over to Home Goods. Also, love the zombie guy back there. I think that's really cute. I love anything with the Raven. It's very Edgar Allan Poe vibes, and he is my favorite. We're gonna see a really cool snow globe here in a second, um, but this one was $17, not too bad. And then this, mer I don't understand the mermaid Halloween thing, but I guess it's a vibe for some people. This one, this snow globe, or whatever you want to call it, I love it with the witch hands. Absolutely stunning. If you can hear my dog in the background, she's sleeping. She's having a little dream. loved this witch hat decor i think it's super super cool and then we have the trio of skulls here for 15 dollars this pumpkin it's metal i love it if it wasn't silver i would love it even more but for 15 bucks it's not that bad this guy was super cute at $30. I think it's a candy bucket. So you can put candy in his head. Adorable. They have some really nice things out and I'm definitely 
going to appreciate that a lot of the things are new from last year again a lot of repeats but i am seeing some new things which i know we can all appreciate this spell book decoration was massive i loved it it's 25 bucks so that's not bad and apparently it lights up probably the little bat eyes light up this little snake would look really cute on like a stack of books or something like some spooky books This planchet was $15, some sort of light up decor. And then you have another one over here, like a very tarot-esque vibe. Look at just how aesthetically pleasing this is. Like a shelf just full of spooky goodies. I absolutely love it. I know we all do. And I went ahead and checked out the linen area, like where they have the tablecloths and stuff, and they have some spooky tablecloths and napkins out. So we're going to go ahead and go through some of these. They range in price from like $9.99 to $19.99, depending on if it's a napkin or a tablecloth. So I try to get the prices in there. How stinking cute are these placemats? I love them. So cute. They are $15 for a set of four and they are reversible. And the beaded placemats are back. They are $10 a piece. The ghosties, stinking cute. And then we have a pumpkin one, if that is more your vibe. And I love me a good table runner, so I went ahead and checked out that area to see if they have anything, and they did. These all range from $12.99 to $19.99, so if I don't get the price, it's anywhere in between there. This one is my favorite. You can layer it over like a nice black velvet tablecloth. Oh my God, that would be stunning. And of course, we have some spooky blankets. I get a spooky blanket or two or three every year. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all all the ones that they've got. Again, the prices range anywhere from $16.99 to $24.99, depending on the size and quality. So we're gonna go ahead and go through all of them. This is not all that they've got. I'm gonna show y'all more in just a second. So the more plushy ones, kind of like this, are usually on the cheaper end, and this one is absolutely adorable. It's more like Halloween vibe. But then I turned the corner and this whole rack was full of spooky blankets ready to be put out. So, you know, I had to snipe in there and take a look. This particular one was gorgeous. It's definitely giving me that like gothic Victorian feel and I loved it. Mm -hmm. 
I can definitely tell the quality of the blankets is getting a little bit better like this one right here with the cats on it it's got more of like a velvety suede kind of feel not suede I don't know it's just different than the normal like Sherpa fluffy ones so definitely get to your home goods and take a look Okay, and now we are at Marshall's and they had a whole little display here. It's not a lot, but it's enough. It's enough to get the spooky goodness going. These felt skulls are so chic. I absolutely love them at only $8 a piece. And the infamous ghosty from last year, we have a new little shape. And the other ones are like shiny. This one's more of a matte. It looks more ceramic. And these are all $8 a piece. So if your thing is ghosties, get to Marshalls because they have a ton. And I really appreciate this little stack of books here. Normally you see them, they're like orange and black, but this one is like a really dark green and gold. I absolutely loved it at $20. This spider has been going around on the Instagrams and I don't love the quality in person. So if you're on the fence about getting it, wait until you can see it in person. Hopefully you can, because I don't know, something about it. It's just not, not great quality. Love these poison apples. They're awesome. Not my vibe, but if your whole thing is like Disney Halloween, I think these would fit right in. And how cute is he? A little Frankenstein ghosty. Love him for $8. I love seeing other shoppers as excited as Halloween as I am and this lady was so fun to talk to. She was all about Halloween. This pillow set down here with the embroidered skull, perfect for all year round if that is your thing. And more spooky blankets. And there I am shopping. Hello, my gym outfit. Excuse me. <laughs> Look at this. This Jack Skellington blanket, I loved the feel of it. I wish they had that material in other prints. And I'm kind of just going through them really quickly because there was a lot. And this video is getting a little bit long. Another sighting of some spooky candles. All of these smelled amazing. That smoked vanilla one. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I should have. And I really appreciate candles that have really unique toppers. So if it's got a nice topper on it, like a nice lid, I'm probably going to buy it. I see Halloween. Yes. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Halloween. Okay, so my excitement was real and I was trying not to absolutely burst out in a full-on squeal in the middle of Joanne's. Um, but yes, we have Halloween and I am so, so excited. It's the beginning, but it's coming. So we have all of the skulls and the skeleton animals and all that kind of stuff right here in the front. Ridiculously expensive, but if you wait just a little bit longer, stuff will go to 50% off because you'll see here in just a moment that all of the place and time Halloween and fall decorations are already 40% off. 
And I believe you can stack your coupons. So when the lines and stuff start coming out in Joann's, if there's something that you really want, last year it was hard to find a lot of things, go ahead and get it, but make sure you try to stack your coupons. Just a little pro tip because saving money is what we love to do over here. Okay, Joanne's fumbled with these florals and the vases. I, I don't like them. If you do, that's great, but I think you can find a lot better quality Halloween florals and picks and just make your own for a lot cheaper than $25. Honestly, go thrift a jar. Go thrift a little vase and get some better picks. That's just my opinion. And here it is. I thought that was all the Halloween we were going to see, but I looked around and oh my God, I was so excited to see this aisle. I, yeah, couldn't contain my excitement. I squealed a little bit. So, you know. So see, everything is 40% off. I love these little hanging skeletons right here. They're only $10, so I don't think that's a bad price if you need to get a couple. While they are here in the store, I would go ahead and grab some. And again, I looked for these everywhere last year. Couldn't find them, couldn't find them online. And here they are just in Joann's and I'm probably gonna have to get them. We have, Joann's is catching on to Target last year. They have their own pumpkin head skeleton for a whopping $130. Y'all, please don't do that. Please don't spend that much money on that thing. I mean, if you want to, go ahead, but that's just ridiculous in my opinion. Again, try to stack your coupons. If this is indicative of the line that is to come out in Joann's, I'm very excited for it because I love this piece. This red skull right here with the snake was $30. Again, I'm just gonna say it, it's expensive. Can anyone tell me what this would be used for? Because I have no idea what you would do with it. Candles maybe? And these little candy bowls are precious, but again, $40 for that? That's ridiculous, Joanne, girl. These little ghosty buckets I think are going to be popular this year. So if you see one and you want it, I would recommend grabbing it right now at $40, 40% off, go ahead and grab it. But that's just a prediction. I, what do I know? I have no idea. I love this skull. I guess it's like a planter. You could also use it as like a little candy bowl, I feel like, but I absolutely love it. And then this piece of decor, it actually folds like an accordion, which you'll see here in a second, and I didn't get a price on it, so I'll look it up online um, and have it linked down below if anyone is interested. Oh, 
Okay, everyone, that is going to wrap up today's Halloween decor hunting video. We saw the spooky goodies. I was... <sighs> The serotonin boost, y'all already know, is so high when we see like the first skull on the shelf. It, it's just like a, it's just like you're, you just get really excited. So when we saw those witches in Home Goods, I was like, oh, it's happening. And then I turned around and I saw all the end caps with the things. Amazing. And then popped over to Marshall's and we saw some of our first Halloween candles. I love me some Halloween candles and spooky blankets. So they, they're it's coming we got some we've got a good selection thus far but we just know that more is to come which is even more exciting and then joann's joann's she's doing it for us she's putting out her her normal like you know bones and skulls and all of like the little decor things i'm really excited to see the line really quickly before y'all go or before i let y'all go because i'm just sitting here talking um let me know down in the comments if you guys would like me to do a sit down and kind of go through things online that i'm finding for halloween i was thinking maybe sites like timu i know that's really big right now um timu i could see if joann's and michael's have uh previews of their lines that are to come and just other online stores like that it's not as easy for me to get up and go shopping as it was last year so i'm trying to come up with other video ideas for you guys so let me know if that would be something you're interested in if not that's totally cool i'll just use that time to go out and halloween decor hunt so that is it now time for my spiel if you guys like today's video go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really does mean a lot to me and helps out my channel exponentially even though it's something just so simple so if you guys like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up I'm trying to get my way back into the youtube algorithm to be seen since i've been gone for quite some time also if you guys are not subscribed and you enjoyed the video and you're excited for more halloween decor hunting halloween decorating and just october vlogs to come go ahead and subscribe to the channel i would love to have you and i think I think that is it if y'all want to chat about halloween what you're looking for what you're finding all of the good things go ahead let's talk about all the spooky goodies down below and that is going to be it so until the next one bye guys